Hi, N4H and H here. I want to talk about noise. I shot some videos recently showing the before and after of my power line noise being taken care of. And I've received some message from messages, emails, and comments from some of you. And, um, you know, talking about other sources of noise. Well, I want to show you one right here. I just shot a video where I chased a soda station out in Arizona. I haven't touched a thing. I want you to look at the noise floor now. And I can't even tell that there's anyone there. Now, I'll tell you what I did. I ran upstairs. Yes, upstairs. Ham shack's in the basement. And plugged in the power supply that powers my laptop. You know, there are other sources of noise. It's not always a power line. I want, you, I want you to listen to this. See, a power line is going to have a characteristic kind of a buzz sound, right? And that's why a noise blanker can generally deal with a power line. A noise blanker can't do much for you when you're dealing with uh, noise that's coming out of a, of a dirty power supply, a plasma TV, uh, cheap um, LED bulbs. Wall warts, not all of them, but many wall warts are especially problematic. Wireless phone chargers, again, not all of them. Uh, if you stay with a big name brand, they're generally okay. If you get something like, a, you know, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but, you know, an off brand, generally noisy. Okay, so um, I'm going to go unplug this noise source. Again, that's coming from the power supply that's powering my computer, my laptop. I'm going to go unplug it, and then I'll be right back. I think, I, I think I'm even going to let the video roll. I was going to, I was going to cut it, but I'm going to let it roll, and, and you, you watch the S meter while I'm gone. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. See how the noise floor has dropped? Now, it's, it's not tremendous here. Approximately two S units. But hey, that can be the difference sometimes in pulling out a weak station or not. And in fact, you can see in the previous video where I chased the soda station that was in Arizona. Sideband soda station right here exactly where you see the radio set right here uh 14305 um you can you'll see that as weak as her signal was that s5 ish of noise generated by that switching power supply it's a you know computer laptop power supply you know the big brick uh the noise generated by that power supply would have been enough to cover her up but see, now we're, we're dropped by about two S units. So I wanted you to see that so you could understand it's not always power line noise. It can be such things as, um, you know, within your own house. And of course, if you don't know this yet, especially if you're new to the hobby, one of the ways you can trace down noise, because see, look, noise can ruin the hobby for you. I had one of you wrote me and told me that you were about to give up on the hobby because you couldn't hear. Uh, which, oh, by the way, and I want to say thank you, uh, had, had uh, one of my viewers reached out to me and said he just got a, a Yaesu FTDX-10, and for the first time in a long time, he can hear. <laughs> so that's great. It, that radio does have a lot of uh, ability when it comes to uh, eradicating noise or at least knocking it way down. But it can ruin your, your fun, you know, in the hobby when you can't hear stations and it's not your fault as much as it is just, you know, noise. Well, some some of the noise you don't have control over 
power line noise, okay, the power company should come out and take care of it for you when you report it. They are obligated to do that. But then some things you got to make sure it's not something generated from within your own home. And so one of the tricks of the trade is power your radio with a battery temporarily, cut off your main breaker to your house, or, you know, or at least turn off the breakers to all of the circuits. And then one by one, turn those on. And when you see the noise come back, you know what room it is, what circuit, um, where there is something powered in that room that's off that circuit that's causing the noise. And then you can, you know, start unplugging things until you narrow it down. In my case, I've literally had, had the LED lights that uh, lit up my daughter's fish tank, the power supply running them caused tremendous noise. S9, by the way. Um, a wall warp power supply that powered a, a thing that rocks the baby um, did it. I had a um, one of those third-party cheap wireless phone chargers that did it. Um, now, this this phone charger I've got here on the desk, I'll pan over here. It's, a, it's an old BlackBerry phone charger, a uh, wireless phone charger, but it will power uh, and charge my, uh, it will charge my iPhone. No noise from this one, but I had a an off-brand one that I had ordered, you know, 25 bucks, and it was it was so bad, it was interfering with two meters. So, you know, you just want to start eliminating. Plasma TVs can cause the problem. They're being phased out now, so you probably won't see as much issue uh, from them. But uh, those are the kind of things you want to start looking at. So be sure that it's not something from within your own home before you go accusing a neighbor or the power company. But if you've watched my previous videos on power line noise, there's an example of what power line noise sounds like. So that'll give you a, an idea. So I can spot power line noise now, you know, a mile away. Uh, well, okay, quarter of a mile away. <laughs> anyway, um, I mean, it's got that characteristic grind to it. Okay, so just want to shoot that uh, quick video there and give you an idea of the what what can happen. I mean, something you may not even think about the power supply running your laptop. And so, hey, if I'm gonna play radio, I unplug my laptop. Okay, so just to confirm the source of the noise, I, I walked back upstairs and I plugged that laptop power supply back in. And you can see it's, it's hitting right around S5 where it was down around S3 when the power supply was unplugged. So about two S units of noise. And see, you listen to that, and you might just think that that's regular QRN, or as some people call ground noise, just, you know, natural noise, atmospheric noise, some people call it. And it's not. That's coming from a computer. But when you listen to that, there's not a dead giveaway that says that's coming from a switching power supply. Uh, but that's what it is. It's a switching power supply that's making that noise. So I just wanted you to see, indeed, it is coming from my laptop power supply. All right, hope this helps. Um, hope somebody out there who's um, dealing with a noise problem right now and is thinking about giving up the hobby, don't do it. Don't do it. Try to find the source of the noise and deal with that so you can enjoy your radio. Okay, this is in 4 h and saying thank you to my Patreons for helping me keep this uh, channel going. If you want to become a Patreon, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH and all help any amount is much appreciated. Thanks a lot, 73.